definitely considered an overambitious TBR because this week I'm in school and we have a paper due. So like, why I'm even planning on doing this readathon? I don't know because I like to make myself miserable. Right? Is for the look. One, one, one. And today I'm here with my Spookathon TBR video. If you don't know, the Spookathon is a week long readathon that is going from October 16th to October 22nd and it's hosted by Books and Lala. So I'll leave her link down below if you want to check it out. But there's five challenges that you're supposed to try to complete. So I picked five books. Are they going to get read? Probably not, but without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> the first challenge is to read a thriller, and I am picking a book that's actually already on my October TBR, but like I really want to read it, so like it's happening. But it is Friend Request by Laura Marshall. This book follows Louise, who is friends with a girl named Maria in 1989. Maria ended up dying, and Louise knows a little bit about her death that other people don't know. And then she receives a Facebook friend request from Maria in 2016. She realizes that everything she's been hiding since that night may come to the surface and so she needs to figure out who this person is pretending to be Maria or what they know about that night before she loses everything. It sounds super interesting. I've wanted to read this for like a million years so I'm going to use this as my excuse to read it because it's been sitting on my TBR for October and I haven't picked it up yet. I don't know why, but this this is the first book I'm going to read. The next challenge is to read a book with a spooky word in the title, so I am going to read Haunting Violet by Alexandra Harvey. I don't really know that much about this book other than the girl Violet has been faking her mother's sentences for a while now, and then she is suddenly able to communicate with ghosts, and the ghost of a girl who was murdered comes and talks to her, and it's basically her trying to solve the murder before the killer strikes again. That's all I really know about it. It could be really bad. It could be really interesting. We'll never know unless we read it, so it's happening. The next challenge is to read a book based off of a childhood fear. And I honestly don't think I had a childhood fear, but I really didn't like spiders. I still really don't like spiders, so that's what we're going with. So I'm going to try to read. Try is the keyword here. Ezekiel Boone's The Hatching. Honestly, don't really know anything about this book, but I'm pretty sure it's about spiders. I mean, like, look at the cover. There's spider webs all over it. I mean, I've had this arc for over a year now, so it's a good excuse. I'm pretty sure this was on my Spookathon TBR last year, and I never read it. Here we go, full circle. A year later, maybe it'll happen. We'll see. The next challenge is to read a book with orange on the cover. And honestly, it was so hard to find a book with orange on the cover. I'm going with The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. I'm counting this as orange. I mean, it's like an orange brown. I have had this on my shelf for a million trillion gajillion years. Have not picked it up. Everybody seems to like this trilogy. Is it a trilogy or a series? I don't know. I have the three first books if it is a trilogy. Or if it's a series, I still have the three first books. I mean, it's a pretty hefty book, so like probably not gonna happen, but it was the only one I could find with orange on it, so it, we're going with it for the TBR. And then the final book that I am hoping to read won't happen. Realistically, I'm probably not even gonna get through one of these books. It is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey, and it's supposed to be for the challenge of read a book set in a creepy setting. And I mean, like an alien apocalypse, I feel would be a pretty creepy setting. Uh, this is another book that's been on my shelf for a million trillion gajillion years, and I haven't picked it up, so. Maybe it'll be this week that it'll happen, but like most likely not. A girl can pretend that she's going to do things that she says she's going to. Alright guys, that was my Spookathon TBR video. Honestly, probably not even going to get through one of these books, but we're aiming high. We're going to see how well that actually goes. Not very well, most likely. Let me know down below what you're planning on reading for the week of the Spookathon. And I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye! <laughs>